Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Phineas Flynn's Law. So today I'm just going to be talking for a little bit about the crossover release date. So this is going to be a more audio-based episode, so uh, feel free to just listen to this. You don't actually have to watch. There's not going to be a whole lot of pictures. There's a couple tweets I'm going to reference, but other than that, this is mostly audio. So all of us have been wondering, when is Disney going to announce the release date for the crossover? And Disney has been very iffy on saying anything. We've had some people who are involved in the show say April, including Dan Povenmire as well as Weird Al who voices Milo. So April has been the general release date. Then this website nextdate.com decided to release the release date for it being April 16th. Now this wasn't confirmed by Disney, it wasn't announced by Disney, but Next Date put it out there and so the entire fan community blew up and said this is the date despite it not being confirmed by Disney. So after that was released, we all waited a couple of days as Disney released the schedule for April day by day and there was no new Milo Murphy's Law crossover. Then Dan Povenmire tweeted this in response to MML Fan 98s tweet about when we were gonna get a crossover release date. And he said that the only thing Disney has officially said is that it's going to come out in 2018. However, many people took this as meaning that the crossover was delayed till later in the year. He never said that. This is information that we've already had. Back at Comic-Con of last year, it said Disney sets release date for Milo Murphy's Law crossover 2018. So this is nothing new, but everybody treated it as if this was some huge news, including Disney TVA news. Now, as much as I love their content and coverage of what Disney does, they blew this out of proportion. They said it was delayed, confirmed by Dan Povenmire to not be airing in April. He never discredited the April release date, and he never said that there weren't more episodes coming soon. He simply said that the only thing Disney had officially confirmed which is true, is that it's coming out in 2018. So I still believe that there's a good chance that this episode could come out in April. Then the day after that, we got the schedules from Disney XD and Disney Channel for the 16th date, which I was still optimistic for. Anyways, there's no Milo Murphy's Law crossover for the 16th on either of the schedules. However, there are empty slots on both of the schedules that have not been filled, and they don't even say unknown, they're just blank. Now, it's interesting because the schedule for Star vs. the Forces of Evil, when that came out, the new episodes were already named and on there, and Disney TVA News found out before they actually officially announced it. So I thought the same thing could possibly happen with Milo Murphy's Law, and it still possibly could. But I feel like Disney's trying to play this one a little bit tighter to the vest just because it's a bigger event. You have all the fans of the show that went on for 10 years, plus all the Milo Murphy's Law fans, so you have a lot of people coming back for this, and I think they're going to try and make a huge deal out of it. You're going to see so much promotion for this in the two weeks before it airs. Even when Disney did the Mission Marvel crossover for Phineas and Ferb, there were bus wraps on the buses at Disney World, so they made a big deal about that crossover. You can bet they're going to make a big deal about this one. So Disney's definitely playing their cards. The creators don't know. Nobody really knows when the release date is, but let's talk about when it could air if it is on the 16th. So here's what would happen. The slot that's empty from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock on Disney XD would be used to premiere the crossover, since that is its native network. And then the open spaces on Disney Channel from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. would be used to rerun the crossover and get it to a wider audience. Disney's been known to do this in the past, like when they rebooted DuckTales, they played the first full episode for 24 hours straight. Granted, that was on Disney XD, but still, to replay it six times should be enough for everybody to get in a chance to see it that afternoon. Then, starting at 8 p.m. that day, Gravity Falls plays on Disney Channel, so they could brand this for Disney Channel as the Disney XD on Disney Channel Night, because it's extremely rare to see Gravity Falls air on Disney Channel anymore, since it is a Disney XD native show. I'm not sure if that's the actual case, obviously we won't know until we get official news from Disney, but that's what's been going on in the world of Milo Murphy's Law as of right now. As for the fandom community who is extremely upset about Disney holding back information, just remember Gravity Falls fans had to wait a full year between the end of season 1 and the beginning of season 2, so for us to only have to wait 4 months since the last episode is not a huge deal. It will come out this year, it might not be as soon as we hope, but I'm still optimistic for an April-May timeline date given that that's what everybody has been saying since the end of season 1. If you want to see how all of this unfolded, you can follow me on Twitter at PFMMLNews. I post a lot more on there with regards to relevant news updates that happen as dates and rumors and things come out, as well as retweeting some of the things that the creators have said about the two shows and different fan theories in response. So thank you guys so much for listening. I hope this was informational and encouraging for you. I'm extremely excited for the crossover still, and hopefully we'll get some news soon. And I'll let you know as soon as we do. One last thing before I go, Swampy Marsh just posted this to his Twitter. It's a picture. It looks like we're going to see Dr. Doofenshmirtz meet Bridgette Murphy. An interesting team up from the crossover, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Thanks for watching Phineas Flynn's Law, and I'll see you next time with another video.